you for joining us for Pet Connect. I'm Tara Douglas. I want to start today's segment talking about Aiden. He is our current longest running resident at the Sylacauga Animal Shelter. And he's had the wonderful opportunity to go to Meredith Dempsey, who owns For the Love of Dog in Alabaster. Meredith has a boarding facility and she's a dog trainer. And she volunteers her time and offers low cost boarding for Sylacauga Animal Shelter dogs. And that helps us get so much information about the dogs. So we now know that Aiden is not only great on a leash that we discovered in our Saturday volunteer walking, but he also enjoys riding in a car. He's great with other dogs. He even had the opportunity to meet a cat, and Aiden did not seem to care about that cat at all. So, you know, looking at him, he is really a great dog. He deserves a home, and we are trying desperately to get him a home so he doesn't have to go back to the shelter, so that he can leave Meredith's house and go straight to his forever home. And thank you to all of our um, donations and our sponsors and volunteers who have given Aiden this opportunity. He does have a little bit more time with Meredith and she has worked her magic. He has a meet and greet with a family today. So, but I wanted to put him on here. So if that doesn't go well for him, that he can find another home because he is just really a great dog. And our next uh, cat, our actually dog this week is our pet of the week. So we have Stormy. And Stormy also got to have a good time and go on a car ride, go get a pup cup at Starbucks last Saturday. Jen Wyatt and Serena Stroud were able to take him, uh, take her out. Um, Stormy hasn't been at the shelter very long and she is honestly one of the sweetest dogs that I've ever been around. She doesn't love the shelter, so she's a little scared, but the minute you get her out, she wants to crawl in your lap and all she wants is love. So I can't see her being a bad dog for anybody. She loves to go on walks and just very much loves people. So if you want to meet Stormy, come on out to the shelter. You can come out on Saturday while we're walking dogs from 11 a.m. to 1, or you can give the shelter a call and go by there and see her at any point. So if you're interested in Stormy, call the shelter. And if you're interested in Aiden that we just talked about, contact Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill. You can message us or you can email us at the Feral Dogs of Avondale Mill.com. Now we're going to get right to our special guest. We have Mandy Rings here with us today. Mandy's a teacher at Nichols Lawson Middle School. She is also the director of the majorettes of the Sylacauga High School. She has been for years. She's a long distance runner. She teaches exercise classes and there's so much more we could share about you, Mandy. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. So tell us a little bit about yourself before we get to all of your stories about your dogs. Okay. Well, I am lifelong resident of Sylacauga, um, daughter of John and Debbie Thompson. My dad um, taught history for years and years, um, umpired. He had four girls, bless his heart. Um, I am the third of four. Um, my sister Meg Masters, she is um, at CUSA. She is over um, a reading initiative there now. She was a librarian for many, many years. Um, my second sister, uh, Kim, a lot of people think we are the same person. They are shocked <laughs> to realize that we are actually two different people and we are not twins. She is actually five years older than me. Um, she teaches pre-K at Indian Valley. And then our little sister, Bonnie, she just moved to Wausau, Wisconsin. Um, from, she moved to Tennessee after she got married. And, um, but we were always the Thompson girls. I say that's pretty much how we, um, you know, we're known growing up, so, yeah. And, and you also now have your own family, yes. so let's talk about your kids. Yes, um, I've been married to Tad Reams for 22 years. Um, and then we have our son, JC, he's 20. He is a senior at the University of Alabama, uh, majoring in communications. And our middle child, Olivia, we just did Bama Bound yesterday. Um, she will be a freshman in the fall at the University of Alabama majoring in nursing. And then our baby, I can't really say baby, but she is, she is my mm -hmm. baby. Eva, she will be a junior at Sylacauga High School this year. So is Eva looking forward to being the only child, so to speak? Oh yes, Olivia and she lets off? both of her siblings <laughs> know that every single day that she is the only one in the house now. So, yes, well, I know you're so proud of them because yes. all, all of the kids seem to be doing so well and doing yes. so much. And JC looks like he is, He's found his passion yes, with he uh, his degree at Alabama mm -hmm. and will do great, great things. And Olivia will, will enjoy Alabama when she yes. gets there and 
and move right along, and Eva will just live it up at home oh, for yes. now. <laughs> oh, she's, yes. Until she's released to the world to do whatever great <laughs> well, thing she's going to do. Watch out, world. <laughs> now, with this being Pet Connect, I thought mm -hmm. I'd bring you on here because you have so many stories about your dogs. I see so many pictures that you share. So tell us about the doodles. Okay, yes, so we have the dudes. Um, we got a picture up right now. Alexander Hamilton. Um, he is the chocolate dude right there in the middle. He thinks he is human. Um, Indy, who is the only one without a human name, and we'll talk more about that. He is an Aussie doodle with those blue eyes right there. And then Raymond Reddington is the concierge of crime. He is also a doodle. He missed the memo and came kind of looking like a golden retriever, but he is our youngest doodle um, right there. They are... What is that box in front of them? Okay, that, <laughs> that box that? was a Mother's Day present. Um, it's Pippa Blue Designs, and she um, does crafts that are doodle-based. So okay. I have a you know, doodle dish towel. <laughs> It's it's a personality. I don't, I don't know, you know. Um, so you've gone a little doodle crazy. Everything. Yes, with the three days as say everything. Yes, my my children remind me of that all the time. But yes, they, everything is pretty much doodle at our house now. Now, right. how old are the dogs? Alexander is four. Okay. Um, Indy is three, and Raymond Reddington will be two in December. Okay. I'm oh, sorry, November. November. He's a November baby. We got him. Christmas Day. Well, there's so, Raymond Reddington right there's there. There's Raymond Reddington, yes. He is a handsome dog. Yes, Even though he, he is a, a crime dog. Yes. He's <laughs> <laughs> that smile, don't let it, yeah, don't, don't let it trick you. He, um, he's, he's a con sneaky. artist, I guess. He is. <laughs> That's how, you know, he got his name. Um, I guess I, maybe I shouldn't have named him Raymond Reddington, but he lives up to it every single day. Now, and there, of course, you are with the girls and the, and the dudes. Yes, and our matching pajamas for Christmas. We say we... We like to, um, you know, dress up and now, on outfits. <laughs> Indy in the middle there, mm -hmm. the one with the mesmerizing eyes. Yes. Now he's got a very interesting story with how yes. you, how he came to your family, mm -hmm. and then the experience you had with him once you got him. Yes. Well, we got Alexander, and everything. Um, I knew I wanted to doodle. My best friend Rachel, she had a doodle named Cooper, and he just, you know, like, became our dog. And um, we wanted another dog. We'd had um, a golden retriever named Cringer for 14 years. He passed away, okay. and you know we just had this huge void. You know how it is when you have dogs. Mm -hmm. um, and we researched. Um, we found a breeder um, over the mountain, Golden Doodles, okay. and um, got Alexander. He was just a wonderful dog, and we knew that we wanted another dog. But, um, you know, we were looking to adopt or rehome, and I joined a rehoming group, and this is the height of the pandemic. And I see this little puppy with these big blue eyes, and his name was Indy. And um, they had gotten Indy as a therapy dog for their son who had autism. Okay. But during this time, they found out that her husband had cancer, it had a seven-month-old puppy, two toddlers, one with autism, and it was just too much. Mm -hmm. And I reached out to her. It's like, hey, we have, you know, this Alexander. He needs a sibling. And um, so we went to Birmingham and brought home Indy. Okay. And this was, like I said, during the height of the pandemic. Um, Indy had never, you know, experienced, I guess, you know, the normal things mm -hmm. um, you know she said every time they'd gone to a vet the vet had to come in and you know meet her at the car kind of take him in he did not like masks like we walked up you know with our masks on and he just started growling and you know there were little things here and there we got him home he and Alexander were not too sure of each other at first okay. but you know, the next day they were like, oh, okay, like, I'll tolerate, kind of like siblings. I mean, you know, it was you pretty much siblings. Some of the back, yeah. Have to figure it like, out. Oh, yeah. okay, like, mm, okay, we'll make this work. But, you know, as the world kind of opened back up, um, Indy developed some reactivity, okay. especially in the home. Um, he would be okay, like, we could take him to, take him to the vet, and he'd kind of do his, like, little show. He'd growl a little bit, but, he would he wouldn't 
try to bite or do anything. But if you came to our house, you know, he, it was a different story. He did, you know, I ended up getting bit. Um, my mom got bit. So he was reactive. Um, we couldn't have other dogs around. We could not have people at our house, you know. And like, text me, I'll meet you outside because it's not safe for you to come into our house. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we didn't want to give up on Indy. Um, so we started getting him trained. We first, we went to a trainer and worked with him there. But, you know, like we said, like I said, it wasn't a problem for him to go places. Um, it was just our house. He was really, you know, put on this big show of, you know, this is my house, I'm big and bad, why are mm -hmm. you here? Um, so then we had a trainer come work with us at our house. Okay. And it was hard at first because, you know, we, ha we had to teach him that it was not his house, <laughs> you know, it was our house. We couldn't let him on the furniture and we had to be very strict. But um, over the course of working with him, um, he, he has changed. Now every now and then, you know, he'll kind of do his little like, oh, you know, this is, yeah. I don't want you here. But, um, you know, the kids have had friends over and for the first time when we went on vacation, we were able to have people come to our house and stay with them at the house. Um, which which yeah. was huge, you know. Never um, thought you'd be able to do that, right. I'm sure. Um, and it's just so nice that, you know, and he sees, um, hey, you know, people actually, you know, people aren't bad, you mm -hmm. know, they, they like me, but, you know, it it took years, you know, it wasn't, it, you're, he's, they're not gonna get fixed overnight, you know, it's not something that, oh, you know, this is gonna snap. It was something that over the time, with the situation with the pandemic, and um, the world slowly opening back up, mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it takes work. And it's going to continue to take work. Absolutely. But it's nice that you're putting that time in. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of times people give up on yeah. dogs or cats that they adopt. Yeah. But yeah. you put the time in, you know, whether it's with the trainer, which is great, or if you don't have that opportunity, watch mm -hmm. videos and work with them. Yes. They can come around and yes. they can end up being very good dogs. Yes. And you'll always have to look and mm -hmm. watch and make sure that they're following the mm -hmm. rules. Because I bet Indy is one of those kind of dogs that's going to test the rules every once in a while. Oh, yes. And yes. see if they still apply to him. Yes. Because maybe they, they don't anymore. But you know, your family's done such a successful job with mm -hmm. him that it's, it's great to see that he's been able to stay with the family mm -hmm. and, and have a good life. Yes and understand that he's not in charge, but yeah. <laughs> but he oftentimes is, with, with training, it's interesting how you have to understand that it's training you also as the owner. Yes, because and, you know, so many times we don't realize it's our kind of our bad habits mm -hmm. of things we do that we don't even think about that is reinforcing the bad behavior. We, we can let them, you know, thinking, oh, it's not, you know, oh, there's nothing, oh, but at the we same time. Yeah, let them be in the charge, problem. so to speak. Yes. Yeah, I know, we see that all the time with our dogs, too. <laughs> we have to, have to be careful, mm -hmm. but, um, but you, have, you have such a good story about him, mm -hmm. and he's such a good dog now that yes. it's, it's nice to see and hear and see that all three dogs can, can get together and have a good time. Even though a lot of the pictures you post on Facebook, Raymond Reddington's face is um, yeah. quite the face. <laughs> It's, yeah, it, it, people, it, you do not believe, you know, it is the same dog, but it is just so funny. They'll be playing, and I, I don't know if it's him being, you know, he was the baby, but mm -hmm. now he's almost like the biggest. Um, but he just will just snarl, you know, that lip, and mm -hmm. they're, they're just playing, but I guess it's his like, don't mess with me face but it's um, you've caught some great shots of him <laughs> snarling I mean I know he's a sweet dog but he looks yes. like a dog that's ready to yeah. take down the other two yes. and <laughs> I'll make it I've made it my lock screen before at school uh, um, before, on my phone and I'll have like my phone on my desk at school and my students will come up and go Miss Reeves what is wrong with your dog and I'm like no that, that's just that's just his face that's just, just, he just you know he's, he's a good dog he really is <laughs> well really. thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing about your family and your dogs and especially about Indy and your journey with him because I think that can give some other people hope mm -hmm. if they have a dog that, that needs some training and we've got some great trainers around here yes, I mean, like I said with Meredith taking care of Aiden and mm -hmm. she's she's got a good facility and does some training and we also have Anthony Rodriguez that comes to the shelter and, and works with the dogs there and I'm sure there are a lot of other great trainers around here so uh, do some research and you can also contact us and ask us if we know about any of them to help you figure out where you should 
should um, take your dog or who you should talk to to have your dog trained. And thank you again for, for joining us for Pet Connect. Um, please join us on Saturday at the shelter when we're walking dogs at 11 o'clock. And thank you again, Mandy. Okay. And we'll have more Daybreak after these messages. Thank you.